Tesla is up 8% today while the market is barely doing anything. S&P barely up, NASDAQ 100 technology sector is up just 1%. Maybe, just maybe the Olympics to go down are over. So what is happening? It's actually relatively simple, but there are multiple reasons. One big one is Tesla stock bear surprises with an upgrade, which is really surprising. This is a city analyst. The rating has gone from sell to now neutral we believe the year-to-date pullback has balanced out the near-term risk reward this is good with the multiple contracting to 30 times next year's earnings per share we feel that some of the prior baked in expectations that we didn't agree with are out of the stock just like many Tesla stock investors that supposedly were long-term investors that completely got scared and they sold their Tesla stock probably just now and now they are thinking, oh, should I go back in? Let me buy back in. <laughs> That's why you don't sell. And that is why an average investor does not beat the market at all. If anything, probably loses quite a bit. So careful, though, our latest model update leads us to reduce near term earnings per share estimates. We still find ourselves slightly above consensus for Q4 of 2024 estimated earnings per share. To be sure though, macro competitive concerns are likely to remain an overhang with capacity rising. But as we have previously written in a hard landing scenario, Tesla's long-term competitive position likely also improves and potentially further enhanced by the Inflation Reduction Act, which Gerber says that's the Tesla Enrichment Act. You look at that 7,500 credit and then the battery credit. Holy smokes, that is good for Tesla stock. Then Dan Ives is saying this is a very nervous few months ahead for Tesla investors as they remain the ones that have been punched again and again. Ooh. Do you like being a punching bag? I like punching bags, but at least the ones that present me buying opportunities. So today actually is a very bad day for me. I am in the process of buying a few hundred thousand dollars worth of Tesla stock. And then the early Black Friday sale ends unexpectedly as supplies run low. Dan continues by saying that Tesla stock is now deep in the investor penalty box until deliveries hit in early January and we get a better sense of the 2023 delivery production trajectory, which is important. You know, there's a lot of speculation, a lot of uncertainty about how Q4 deliveries are going to look. Production is all set 50%. That's what Troy estimates, estimates and is looking good for production, which is really all we care about. Tesla will sell every single car it makes. And if it has to reduce the price temporarily, let's say, which eventually it will have to do, uh, I mean, in the long term. But if they reduce the prices further now, that just completely obliterates all of the competition. But the good news do not end just here. Here are some more good news. It looks like bad news, but it's actually good news for stocks. U.S. Fed staff saw odds of recession in next year at almost 50%. This just happened today. This is from the Fed Minutes. Risks to the baseline projection for real activity were skewed to the downside and viewed the possibility that the economy would enter a recession sometime over the next year as almost as likely as the baseline. The baseline means no recession and the ever scenario is recession. The Fed has not said that earlier this year. Now they're saying, oh, maybe we are causing a recession. Maybe we should 
stop raising the rates, which would be great for stocks. When the Fed minutes came out, see this sharp increase? This is what the Fed minutes did. Only a half percent increase, so not that much, but still. You know, Tesla was looking really sexy just before today, but now it's like, no, 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 no. It is dressing up a little bit more appropriately, but still, whoo, it looks damn attractive. Ross Gerber, who has a fund worth over a billion dollars, basically, assets under management, uh, he says the simplest way for Tesla stock to double is just to simply, I don't know, produce the Cybertruck. Look at this beauty. I want one. I'm waiting for one. Did you order yours? I'm waiting for mine, but I don't know. How long is this going to take? Years? Many years, probably. By the way, Dan Ives said that demand for Tesla is holding firm, which is great. He talks about the Twitter circus, of course, but his projections for deliveries in Q4 are a little bit above the consensus. Consensus is about 430,000. He estimates that uh, Tesla is on track for 430,000 to 450,000 deliveries in the fourth quarter, which would be great for Tesla stock if we indeed uh, beat those expectations. By the way, it's really surprising that Gordon has half a star, but, 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 when you compare him to that city analyst, good lord. This is literally zero stars. I mean, the track record is absolutely spectacular when you look here. Sell at all of the worst possible times. Almost, except maybe here. Okay, I can see that. Maybe, yeah, that makes sense. But everywhere before that, basically, it's like you were holding and then right before the stock skyrocketed. I bought, by the way, in early 2019. He said, instead of holding, just why don't you just sell everything? Just sell everything? Wow. And of course, we have some more good news. Gary Black expects Tesla to recognize one-time deferred revenue of one billion-ish dollars in the fourth quarter when full self-driving version 11 is released broadly. I hope I get that and I hope I actually get my beta then. I still don't have it. My safety score is high. My And, and the, the car is driven a lot every day. So that's weird. Um... Most analysts will back it out of earnings per share as this is just a one-time event. Uh, the ongoing FSD rate, uh, in terms of how many people take it, could increase once EV buyers know they can use FSD immediately after purchase. I mean, we had the car for now quite a long time. And still, I can't have a beta. This is not exactly exciting for me. I was so looking forward to it and bummer. I think I feel a little bit like, you know, you go out on a date and you pay for dinner and everything and then you just get ghosted. Nothing. Or you get promises, you know, maybe sometime next time. And then next time comes and it's like, oh, you know, later, not, not now, sometime later. And it just keeps happening over and over and over again. I want my beta, please. Gary estimate, estimates that Tesla sold about 400,000 FSD packages at an average price of $9,000 since FSD became available. And the more important thing would be that uh, probably the take rate of FSD would increase. Uh, right now, it's only 8% uh, globally, although in the US it's much higher at about 15%. No one buys it in China. In the China, the take rate is something about 1%. It's very low because it doesn't really work very well there. And also, people buy the cheapest model in China. So, of course, they're not going to uh, buy this expensive option if they can barely afford the car in the first place. Interestingly, Tesla Boomer's mama's chart shows that 
there are still outflows from ARK Invest, uh, one of the funds. Someone's still share selling, and uh, that is reducing ARK's Tesla position as well. This is not Kathy Wood selling Tesla stock, it's just investors wanting to sell their ARK Invest shares. Gary really wants that CEO to be hired for Twitter so Elon does not run uh, Twitter anymore. And another good thing would be if Twitter would be able to break even and not lose any more money as users go up, which if you saw that chart from yesterday, it hit another record high and I expect that to continue. If that continues, advertisers will come, all the noise will pass eventually. I just don't know how long that will take. Generally, advertisers just want to make money. Now, there are big advertisers that want to uh, just build their brand by advertising, so they don't look at the ROI as closely. But still, ROI it matters a lot, and hopefully things can come back to normal, although Twitter overhang, you know, how long is going to last? That is not exactly very clear. I know many of you are waiting for Tesla stock to drop down even further, to undress even further, but I'm telling you, I think it looks attractive already as it is. And if you like good news such as this, then like this video. And I am also coming out with a new, I'm coming out with a new YouTube channel where I will post just a summary of all of the things that I post in a single day so that instead of instead of having to watch three or four videos you just only need to watch like one 10 or 15 minute video that's going to be concise and also probably much better production value and editing and everything so that's coming out uh, very soon maybe even later today we'll see sometime later this week for sure these are 48 reasons why i only own tesla stock in my stock portfolio my name is matt postis reporting to you from vancouver city canada i'll see you later today thank you so much for watching